We are in the Center for Packaging and Unit Load Design here at Virginia Tech. Um, we do a lot of testing on all types of packaging. We take in all kinds of different products and that product comes in on unit loads. They come as a bundle when they get delivered to the stores. And then we evaluate those for different impacts, different warehouse stacking type situations and uh, different transit and handling situations. But when we look at this entire system, uh, we always start with the pallet. What we have here is a um, simple four-way four stringer pallet. We're gonna put it in our unit load compression table. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an airbag on it to simulate the, figure out the maximum load of what can be put on top before it actually breaks. So basically this is a vibration table. It simulates um, transportation and the vibration it goes through and is subjected to. It's a simulate from manufacturer to stores or warehouses where they'll be stored in. We are simulating here pallets being stuck in warehouses and them falling off freights. And um, we're gonna be dropping it from certain heights depending on what the manufacturer wants to see if they can survive. Today I'm running the fast track test that we do, which is a warehouse simulator. Um, we have a simulation for a dock, like putting something into the bed of a tractor trailer, a racking system, and then setting a unit load on top of another unit load. And our final step is the conveyor belt. So the next step is to inspect the pallet for any damages. And here we have the CAD table, which allows us to print out or cut uh, new designs that manufacturers may want to test. In the practical world, on a unit load or pallet, a box has to have a certain edge crush test or it won't be able to hold up enough layers of weight. Even if it doesn't, it becomes an inefficient unit load, not allowing uh, unit loads to be shipped more and cost money. Right here we have a unit load of Gatorade, as you can see. It's uh, six layers high, and it's in an interlocked shape, and that kind of gives it a, a tighter pack and a stronger containment strength. We're testing the containment strength right here, how strong the containment is around all the Gatorades. The actual uh, stretch wrap moves up and down at different speeds. They could, it also adjusts the tension in the wrap. And to measure the containment strength, we're gonna pull this block out to the four inch mark, and this is our force gauge. This is our incline impact test and what we do here is we evaluate all kinds of different unit load strength um, setups if you will. So we can take different pallets like you see here, wrap them in different ways. In this particular situation what it does is it um, brings the pallet up to a certain distance that we want and then impacts it at a specific speed and acceleration that we want. In doing so, it simulates hard braking from truckers, or we can even simulate like trains in a coupling environment um, in a rail yard. 